hey fuckers. How about another collective? Tap that screen now and tap it hard. Hada. Hada. Tap that shit. Hoo -hoo. Do it again. <laughs> All right. Did you tap it? I hope so. Now, let's figure out what's the message for you. Okay, whoever you are in this collective. Spirit team, what's the message? Ooh, we got a king of cups here. Okay, so king of cups is very intuitive, very caring, very sweet, generous, very masculine energy. Um, this is someone that is, you know, sensuous, you know, sensual. Very, very sensitive for others, very compassionate for others, considerate, and quite the catch, if you really want to know the truth. This person's not afraid of emotion. This person's not afraid to say, I'm in love with you. This person's not afraid to commit. This is a committal kind of guy, you know, or a girl, but a, a, a woman or a man, but a, a masculine energy. Very committal, committal. Again, committal kind of energy. Do you hear me? Now, spirits are showing me, oh, with the Wheel of Fortune here. Yeah, okay. This is definitely something that is turning in your favor. This is a good luck. This person's very much a good luck for you. Um, this is someone that you'll feel very blessed to have in your life. Someone very blessed to have to be in their heart. Um, I feel like this is a good luck, this is a change, and this could be a, por a part of your course of your destiny, okay? Or a course for your destiny. So I do feel like this is definitely a good catch, 100%. And with the chariot card, yeah. I'm feeling like the chariot is showing me that this has been a long journey for you to find someone like this. Um, and, and now that you have found someone like this, you're not gonna wanna let go. You're going to want to go through the whole enchilada with this person and go the distance, if you know what I'm saying. And it's also spiritually guided with the chariot, too. I feel like spirits are showing me that they want you to take this route. They want you to go with this path because it is, a again, it's a course for your destiny. And your inner guidance is willing you to, to move forward, take this action towards this person. What else can you tell me, spirit? What else is going to happen with this connection? Oh. <laughs> with the Nine of Wands here, there is a lot of determination here, like I said. Um, I, I'm, I'm, I feel like this is a completion to a cycle in your life. I feel like this has been, again, a long journey trying to find the right person. I feel like you've been through a lot of Mr. and Mrs. Wrongs to get to Mr. and Mrs. Right. And this one is right, okay? Um, I feel like you know it, and you are and you felt it the minute you saw this person, met this person, talked to this person. I also feel like it's a strong, strong connection, and again, spiritually guided. And with the, what did I fucking say? With the Queen of Cups here, this is a divine counterpart. You, this is your counterpart. Um, Queen and King of Cups, okay? This is a definitely a, a very, very strong, equal give and take, consideration, love, compassion, relationship. I feel like you're very similar in nature being both water signs. Uh, water is all about emotions, intuition, sensuality, sensitivity. Um, water could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in your birth chart sun moon or rising doesn't have to be but it's a very very strong emotional connection with you two again divine counterparts no wonder it's being spiritually guided now with the knight of swords reversed i do show um spirits are saying there's some sort of feeling of loss of focus unpredictable impatient feeling here so this is definitely an obstacle that's going to be in the way of this journey with this person. I feel like this is all driven from the past, though. I feel like you have a lot of ambition for this connection and will. But I also feel like very strongly that this person 
or whoever, what, whatever happened to you in the past or the person you were involved with in the past that caused you a lot of heartache and grief will cause a little, little bit of an insecurity in yourself, that confidence of thinking that this is the right one. Okay, you know, I don't know if this is going to work out. I don't, I don't know. I mean, shit's not worked out in the past. Things have been really, really good like this in the beginning, and then they turned to shit. I'm afraid this is what's going to happen. This is going to happen again. Blah, 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 blah. And that's just all that fear. Fear of the axe falling on you. <laughs> the emperor is coming forward for this person. Yeah. This is your divine masculine. This is your counterpart. This is your divine counterpart. And honestly, I don't see you needing anyone, okay? I don't see you clinging to anyone. I see you very independent. I see you very radiant. Um, I feel like you make your own money and you're very secure in yourself, your life, and that you don't need to lean on or be codependent on anyone. I feel like you're a very powerful individual, very determined and very grounded, stable and loyal. And so is your person. You have a soul tie to this person. Okay, you and this person go way the fuck back. If not childhood, past relationships, uh, or past lives. It, you know, I feel like you've, you've met this person many, many, many times and don't even realize it. I feel like this person's been in and out of your life on a just a casual basis or an acquaintance basis. And I feel like this person and you've been connected since an early, early either childhood, again, or past life. Because with the Six of Cups, that indicates a soul tie. And with the fact that you are counterparts, this is your divine counterpart, destiny, the wheel is in your favor of this connection, and spirits are guiding you on this journey with this person. <laughs> what the fuck? The Ten of Cups? Are you kidding me? Yeah. This is it. This is the person. And the Knight of Cups following it? Oh my fucking God. Yes. Yes. Okay, so this definitely is your counterpart. This is your person. A hundred percent. When you meet this person, or you if you already have met this person, which I feel, I feel like you have. I feel like you know who this is. This is going to be the best relationship you've ever been in in your entire fucking life. You're going to have a connection with this person that is so powerful, so emotionally connected, and so deep that you're, it's going to blow your fucking mind. Now, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed, I do feel once again that the, whatever happened to you in the past, whatever relationship, possibly a marriage that broke, maybe you got divorced from someone, um, I do feel like that is going to, you know, kind of play a role in any kind of hindrance or doubt that is created by... Um, in the back of your mind about this connection, okay? Don't doubt the connection. Don't doubt this person. It's not this person. It's what you've been through. Right? you got to know the difference, and you got to differentiate between the two because you're going to be so fucking happy with this person. It, it's almost like it, you're going to feel like it's too good to be true. But I, I see celebratory energy here with the Three of Cups. I see you celebrating this connection. Also, possibly like a wedding or some sort of culmination celebration. And with the King of Swords reversed, I totally get what happened in the past. You were with a jackass, okay, with the King of Swords reversed. Yeah, a King of Swords reversed, he's fucking, mm, he's arrogant. He's, I say he, could be a woman, but it's a masculine energy and very judgmental, very manipulative, very deceitful and arrogant and just treated you like total, teetotal shit. And so I can see where that might have, that baggage may hinder you from this connection, just, and making you feel like it's too good to be true and all that shit, blah, blah, blah. But honey, spirits are saying, this is your spiritual guidance with the Hierophant, okay? These seeds that you've planted with this connection are going to come to fruition. They're going to grow. This is going to be a connection that is going to grow and grow and grow and grow. And it's going to be worth every minute that you put in it. Every ounce of energy, every ounce of investment that you put in this connection is worth it. This is the person that's right for you. This is your soul mate is what I'm hearing from Spirit Guides. Soulmate. Say it again for those louder in the back. This is your soulmate. 
this is your divine counterpart. So 